There are several surprises in the most recent season of The Great on Hulu, but none is as intense as Peter's passing in episode 6, which, regrettably, was required for the plot to advance. The Great is a comedy drama that is largely inspired on Catherine the Great of Russia's ascent to power and rule. With actors Elle Fanning and Nicholas Holt, the show adds color and humor to the grim history of Russia in the 18th century. The third season of The Great just became available. It was a significant shock for audiences and characters when, halfway through The Great Season 3, Peter fell into an icy lake and died instantly. Previously, the season had been exploring Catherine and Peter's relationship, how would they set aside their differences and love each other fully so that they and Russia could thrive. However, once Peter dies, the great season 3 takes a major turn as Catherine struggles to keep Russia in control while battling an intense emotional breakdown. It seems that, as per usual, the great's Peter worsens everything, except that his demise actually makes Catherine better. Peter had to die in the great season 3 for Catherine to rule, ultimately, Peter's death needed to happen in the great season 3 so that Catherine could successfully rule Russia. As much as the pair tried to work out their differences, their constant fights and bickering distracted Catherine from her goals of changing Russia. That is not to say that their love would not have worked, but rather that it clouded Catherine's judgment and took time away from her role as empress. In this way, Peter needed to die so that Catherine could focus solely on Russia and, in a sense, walk away from her past and towards a brighter future. Peter's demise in season 3 of The Great was also crucial, since it accurately depicted what actually happened in history. Peter III did pass away relatively soon after Catherine toppled him, even though the actual history of The Great does not contain their romance or Peter's chilly death. Peter passed away in the past from hemorrhoidal colic and a stroke, but many people still think Catherine's advisors killed him. However, The Great had to murder Peter in order to adhere to historical precedent. How Peter's death strengthened Catherine. Although Peter's passing completely destroys Catherine at first, the situation ultimately helps her grow as a person and a leader. Russia had descended into anarchy as a result of Catherine's melancholy and sadness, which lasted until the season 3 finale of The Great. Catherine rises sharper than ever after realizing that she is her only possession, along with her so-called destiny. Peter's death makes Catherine, who was already clever, aspirational, and astute, edgier, more careless, and more vicious. Without Peter, Catherine transforms from the kind and trusting German wife to the tough and in-charge Russian leader she needs to be. Overall, Peter's passing leaves a huge void in the great, but it was inevitable. If the great season 4 happens, it is obvious that the show will adopt a darker and steelier tone, much like Catherine does in the series' climactic scene, where she is clothed in all black and sports short hair.